closest I've ever come to killing Jeremy Clarkson. There have been many occasions, obviously, but one that sticks in my mind was when we were on our ill-fated Argentina adventure, just before it all kicked off. We were right down in the south and we had to stay the night next to a big, very, very cold lake. But fortunately, there was a wooden hut there, like a sort of little wooden house, a bit like those sort of walkers' bothies you get in Scotland or the far north of Canada. Anybody can use them, and they usually have a bit of food in it, some firewood, some, you know, some blankets, and you can use anything you like as long as you replace things that you've consumed. So you can take a tin of Spam, but leave a tin of sardines or some beans and sausages or something. That's fine. So we had this place. There were several rooms. The central room had a log burning stove in it and it was very well provided with kindling and little twigs to help you light it, a little bit of screwed up paper all kept dry in a tin. It was a really nicely done thing. And Jeremy said, well, I'll, I'll be in this room because I'm here, I'll look after the fire. And so I lit the fire with Richard Hammond and it was going quite well. And we all went to bed um, in separate little rooms around this main room. And at about 4 a.m. I woke up with my man parts inside an ice cube and I went through to the main room and he'd let the fire go out. And he was awake and he said, well, it's gone out, but I couldn't light it, it's too complicated. All he had to do was wake up every three hours or so and pick up a log. That's it. And he hadn't done it. And there was a shovel next to the stove which I picked up, small shovel admittedly, you know, for scraping the ash out, but it had a really sharp edge on it. And I did think about it. I don't know if that's the sort of thing I should admit to, but how can you let the fire go out? I mean, it's, a, you know, it's Promethean. It's the thing we need most. It's the first thing that civilized us, the fire. It enabled us to eat cooked food. Eventually it would enable us to make forged tools. He let it go out. He let civilization go out.